Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from 3 John chapter 1, verse 4. And as you can tell, let me just get the elephant out of the room, that I'm on location, as you might say. I'm here in Moorhead City with my wife who's attending a class, and I'm in the business center. The elevator's right outside this room. So you might hear, hear that going off from time to time. But nevertheless, today's verse, 3 John chapter 1, verse 4, it simply says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. This letter of John is addressed to Gaius, who is a church leader who had a strong testimony amongst the believers of the church. Some of these believers had visited the city where John was, and they shared the testimony of Gaius to John, saying that Gaius was one that walked in the truth. This means that he walked in the truth of Jesus Christ and the word of God. Remember, Jesus said that he is the truth. We find that in John chapter 14, verse 6. And he also prayed to the Father for his disciples, for us, that we would be sanctified in the truth, saying your word is truth. The word of God is truth. John chapter 17, verse 17. John addresses Gaius as a son, saying there's no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth in ministry, both then and now. It was common for elders or pastors to call those that have been called into ministry under their leadership as their sons and daughters, although they were not their biological father. Nevertheless, these pastors, elders, teachers, they would train, mentor, nurture, and love their students or their apprentice, you might say, as their very own children. And not only these, it was also common for the apostles, the elders, the pastors to call the members of the churches that they had started or that they led as their children. I had a father in the ministry who's gone on to be with the Lord, whose love, patience, and mentoring still it guides me today. Now, let me speak to you as a parent and tell you that there's no greater gift that you can give to your children than to lead them to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ through your the life that you live, through your example, through your love, and through your teaching. And there's no greater joy uh, for us as parents to, than to know that our children are walking in the truth, especially when they leave home and they're out on their own. Now, you all know, many of you know that I'm a hospice chaplain, so I come alongside of those that are at end of life. And what matters the most to those that are dying is that they know where they're going to go, where they're going to spend eternity. And that is also very important to those that are left behind as well. And how do they know this? They know this by the life that you live, that they know that you walked in truth. So today I plead with you, walk in truth. Christ is truth and the word of God is truth. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow, yeah, as we consider today's verse. Amen.